initially, Brantford was a big city. It was on the map. It was on the river, and it was very prosperous. As things started to change, manufacturing started to change, we went into a recession, and uh, it really was uh, devastating to our community. The downtown was awful. And so that was where we started. But we also recognized that we needed to bring education to the community. We needed to do something about the downtown. And one of the things that we could do was taking a look at educational opportunities because of the list that was put together, identifying we needed education. So grassroots organization, GVS, came along and started working with a great community support, so much community support. Everybody got on board. They were all excited about this. We had a few people that were naysayers, but that always happens. So we were able to establish a university in our community. Because of that, we already had Mohawk College here, but now we have a university which is able to um, grow and it impacted the whole community. And so now as we start to see um, the uh, colleges and opportunities for skilled trades and pieces that are starting to move forward, we see that we have come a long way, but it was a community event. It was community coming together to do it. And, you know, the, the ultimate best outcome could be that we are a hub mm -hmm. of educational excellence. At the end of the day, education is the one thing that if you have it, if you have, I've always said, that if you know how to learn, you can do anything. Exactly. You know? And there, and the, the uh, universities and colleges are looking at where are the jobs and they're looking at putting programs together to meet that. Well, what I also seem to hear is they all seem to be focused on that end result, which is the people are coming to us with an end goal in mind, which is employment for the next 40 years of their life so that they can have children and, mm -hmm. you know, lead, lead the, the life that, that we say we should be able to have, right? At the end of the day, I'm hearing the colleges and the universities are working together in that hub format, so they're not competing against each other almost. No. I'm sure there's a degree of competition. Certainly, you know. but the fact that you can do articulations for degree diploma, that's amazing. Yeah. Um, that uh, you can utilize some of the same materials. Um, the courses are some out at the airport, so we're utilizing, as I said before, we're utilizing existing buildings. Mm -hmm. It's not like we're building new stuff. We're utilizing the the uh, space that we have. It's not going to sit empty. No, and some of it was sadly sitting empty. Yeah. You know, and especially, you know, one market being, I think, what's going to become quite iconic. Um, you know, we've had a lot of big buildings in the town, ICOM, one mm -hmm. market, whatnot, that were built and never really got, you know, the right tenant. Yes. I, I truly believe that that Laurier Brantford as a tenant of One Market will finally make that truly what it's meant to be. I'm I'm fingers and toes crossed. Yeah, I'm crossed. sure. Thank you so much. Thank you.